I created a powerful strategy with the TDI in a previous video that had insane results and today I have improved it even more. Sit back, relax and let's get straight into the video. A couple of weeks ago I released a day trading strategy video for a guide on how to actually trade the TDI indicator successfully. Now if you didn't see or don't know what the TDI is, don't worry. TDI stands for Traders Dynamic Index and it's essentially an all-in-one indicator that allows traders to see the overall market picture. I did explain in a previous video that most traders fail with this and this is because they trade it how the market makers want them to use it. And not only that but they trade it on a lower time frame and don't check what's really going on on the higher time frame. So let's check this out. So in that previous video that I mentioned, I showed results for the four hour chart and you all seem to love that video. So thank you for that. But a few asked in the comments and messaged me about a part two. So I figured I'd look into it. I wanted to use the rules from the four hour chart to find trades that we can enter on a lower time frame, And I actually found it. And before we get into that, let me tell you quickly about flux charts and why you need to add them to your day trading arsenal today. They wanted to sponsor today's video to show you how powerful their premium indicators actually are. I have previously tested them on this channel and had insane results. And for only the price of one takeaway a month, you could gain access to life changing indicators and an amazing community of other like minded traders all the way from beginner to expert that are making money the same way you want to. So check them out risk-free with the first link down in the description and in the comments section and seeing exactly how much value they cram into this tiny membership fee. Flux Charts has been very generous to offer you a 20% off if you use code MO at checkout. So please, please go check them out for yourself. And thank you again to Flux Charts for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so let's get back into it. Let's first open up TradingView Add the TDI indicator by searching BTMM TDI. Click this one here and add it. We want to first open the four hour chart for this. Now, if you didn't see the last video I made, we want to watch for the green RSI line to break and close outside of the overbought or oversold zones, just like a normal TDI strategy. But the trick was we would enter on the candle close when the green line crosses back inside the red and only exit the trade when the green RSI touches the 50 level midline, right here. So what have we changed? If you own a better version of TradingView, let's start by opening two charts simultaneously. Don't worry if you have the free plan, just change between the two charts to wait for the entry signal I'll show you in a minute. On the left, let's open up the one hour chart instead. This is to help aid with the lower trade entries more. And we will be using this the same with the step one rule being to wait for price to break outside of the overbought or oversold area. And then the candle close back inside of the red trend line. When this happens, and yes, candle close only, we will then move down to the lower time frame. And here's where things get interesting. Now, this might sound complicated here, but stay with me. It's super easy, I promise. Pretend for a minute that you're entering a trade on the one hour chart. So when the price breaks the oversold or overbought line, it then comes and closes back inside of the red trend line where we would enter our trade and ride it to the TDI's 50 midline level. On the five minute chart, we can see our one hour chart entry and exit. And the secret trick for this awesome strategy is to wait for price to carry on. Let it trend in the bias direction. And then our point of interest and essentially step one for the real entry is to wait for the five minute chart price to pull back to the level where we would have entered on the one hour chart, this line right here. It doesn't need to touch it, but it is preferred. And we want to see it as close to the line as possible by a few pips. Step two is to look for rejection on the five minute chart off of this line. This can either be candlestick pattern or a bundle of candles rejecting a psychology level. We can enter our trade at this level once enough rejection or candlestick formation is shown and place our stop loss inside of the one hour stop loss level, either correlating with previous rejection or a set pip count away. Just make sure it's safe enough to give the trade breathing room. You could also use swing highs or swing lows. Now for the take profit level, we have two options. We can either set our reward level at the five minute charts price before it turned around to reach our target area, 
basically our highest or lowest point before the pullback. Or we can target the one hour trade's original target. One is much quicker with a nice risk to reward ratio, and one is an almost discounted entry on a big risk to reward H1 target, but it will take longer to hit. For this video, I'll be targeting the five minute level, and this makes this trading strategy so much faster. Okay, so you're probably wondering, how much better is it? Let me show you. And here are the results. With 100 trades taken on a small $100 day trading account, we made a massive gain of 5,029%. And with 84 wins and only 16 losses, we had a very impressive win rate of exactly 84%, with an average 5 risk to reward ratio, arguably the best on the channel. But I hope you have enjoyed this part two for the TDI high time frame strategy. Please hit the like and subscribe button and check it out for yourself on TradingView. And absolutely go and join Flux Charts right now with the code MO for 20% off. You're going to love them. My name's Mo and I'll see you in the next one.